Joan, and this is my road. Welcome to Joan's Rome. We're in Trastevere today, which is a very, very ancient part of Rome. There's many people here that boast that they have 10 to 15 generations behind them that have lived in some of the neighborhoods. This is on the same side of the Tiber River as is the Vatican. In fact, Trastevere means across the Tevere, Tevere being the Italian word for Tiber. We're standing in the beautiful courtyard today of the Church of St. Cecilia. Santa Cecilia. Most of you probably know or have heard, she's the patron of music and of musicians. But what many of you may not know is that Cecilia was a noble woman who was martyred in the third century. But in 1599, her incorrupt body was found. She was lying on her side and there were deep gashes in her neck that had been placed there by an ax. And there's a very beautiful marble statue of her in that position with the ax marks that's right under the main altar of this very beautiful church. Now, St. Cecilia, well, she was not a saint at the time, obviously, she had taken a vow of virginity and she had told her parents about this vow of virginity, but they nonetheless decided to marry her off. So she gets married. Cecilia tells her new husband, Valerian, of her vow and she convinces him to become baptized and to become a Christian. He in turn persuades his brother and a very good friend, Maximus, to become Christians and the three men devote their lives to almsgiving and to taking care of the poor. Well, they were persecuted not for giving alms but simply for being Christians and they were killed. After Cecilia buried her husband, his brother and his best friend, she herself was martyred. And as I said, her body found incorrupt in 1599. And today, this beautiful basilica in Trastevere commemorates the memory of this holy, wonderful woman of third century Rome. So I know you're gonna visit the Trastevere section of Rome when you come to the Eternal City. Make a point of coming to this very beautiful, very old church. For more insights into the daily life here in Rome, Check out my daily blog, Jones Rome, on EWTN.com.